Here. Donald Trump says these indictments are going to keep him off the campaign trail. Roll tape. How can my corrupt political opponent, crooked Joe Biden, put me on trial during an election campaign that I'm winning by a lot, but forcing me nevertheless to spend time and money away from the campaign trail in order to fight bogus, made up accusations and charges? That's what they're doing. I'm sorry, I won't be able to go to Iowa today. I won't be able to go to New Hampshire today because I'm sitting in a courtroom on bull. Okay, bleeped out at the end there. Tom Fitton's with us this morning. Tom, is Biden deliberately using the courts to disrupt the campaign of his political opponent? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, you have these two prosecutions out of the federal um, government. And you have to remember, you've got these allied Democrat prosecutors in New York. There's a planned prosecution in Georgia by another Democrat. So I don't know how many prosecutions of one man who's running against Biden do you need before you figure out that maybe the Democrats want to use the courts to decide the next election through these sham indictments as opposed to allowing the American people to have their say. And, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, the election's already been compromised by the intervention of the Justice Department uh, by trying to put their thumb on the scale. And, you know, this this whole court fight, I, you know, I think your viewers should just consider that the courts are just trying to figure out just how much to restrict Donald Trump's speech. So no matter the court order or the gag order or the protective order, it's going to be restrictive. And uh, and so that means Joe Biden can prosecute by Trump and he can't fully defend himself uh, the, uh, if, if the Justice Department gets its way and the judges even institute a normal uh, protective order, it's really troubling. This is just not the America that I became a citizen of 10 years ago. It's just not the same place. Uh, Tom, hold on a second. We've got this... Uh... Yeah, you know, and just to be quick, just yeah. quickly... Just... Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Go on. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's a, it is a key First Amendment issue. Yeah. Uh, uh, Smith is being dishonest here. You have a right to petition your government. That's part of the First yes. Amendment, too. Yeah. It's not just speech. You can follow up on that speech saying, I want this to happen. He had that right as a president, as a candidate, and as a citizen. And that's a signal to Trump and anyone else who disputes elections. We'll jail you if we don't like what you're doing. Extraordinary stuff. Fox has just obtained another set of bank records from the House Oversight Committee. It ties to the Biden investigation. More than $20 million in total flowed into Biden family bank accounts from foreign sources, China, Romania, Kazakhstan, Russia, Ukraine. Tom, are we moving closer to an impeachment inquiry? I think it's unavoidable. I think the impeachment train is coming. And uh, I, I, my suspicion is, based on information I've had previously from what House members are hearing back home, they want impeachment, they want accountability. And uh, because I, I think, you know, the, the mirror of that is Republicans just keep on doing hearings and throw out this material about Biden. And people say, well, what's going on here other than politics? If, if they want to reassure the American people they're serious about this, impeachment's got to be on the table in addition to, you know, defunding the Justice Department, the FBI, defunding the censorship and the other abuses. Uh, and uh, I don't see how it's avoidable at this point. What other evidence could you possibly need to begin an impeachment right. inquiry of President Biden? Well, we, we've, we've got the bank accounts. We've got the bank records. I'm holding them right here. We've got pictures of them all over the place. Pictures 20, 20 the million dollars. Yes. I mean, there's powerful evidence, powerful evidence that the sitting president of the United States was an unregistered foreign agent. Yeah, that's not politics. Yeah, that's you know, evidence. Everything it's that Hunter's being white. charged with or that's true. And um, so this is something I'm sure some Republicans don't want to do it. And I understand politically why they may think it may not work out the way they might hope. Uh, but I don't think they have a choice ethically and morally and constitutionally and and to um, fulfill their oath of office to protect the Constitution uh, other than to impeach uh, President Biden, certainly to move with an towards an inquiry there. And, and, and Speaker McCarthy should just cut cut to the chase and get it done. Okay. And stop pretending to uh, to argue whether he should or do you know to, to have this uh, Hamlet type of argument with himself about whether he supports it or not in public. Tom Fitton recommending hardball. All right, Tom. Thanks for joining us this morning. We we appreciate it. Thanks a lot, sir.